Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a good day. My name is Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. We're gonna talk about physical therapy after a knee replacement. So, and unfortunately, sometimes this is going by the wayside. People are told to do things at home and this is presenting some problems because it is very difficult to do your own rehab after a knee replacement and it can be very painful. I know people have um, stories of physical th therapy being very painful, but unfortunately it doesn't get any less painful doing it at home. Um, you still have a brand new joint in there and we need to make sure that it works correctly and you do everything you can to get it to work correctly again. Otherwise, you're gonna compromise your hip, the knee on the other side, your back, your foot. So it's not something that you really want to um, ignore or kind of blow off because it's if you don't, go back to walking normally, which is the whole point of a knee replacement, you will in fact wear out other joints, like I said, like your other knee or your hip or possibly your back. So while it's in, imperative that you um, do physical therapy, you do wanna make sure that you are limiting some of that pain. It can be very painful. I do understand I've rehabbed a ton of these um, post-op and it's something that is not the most pleasant thing, but it is something that once you get the range of motion back, it's really a matter of just getting a little bit more strengthening, but that initial range of motion is where the pain comes in. So while, you know, nobody likes to be in pain and I understand that and it's not something that we really want to um, do, it is some, a necessary evil almost. So let's talk about physical therapy that you can do, some of the exercises that you wanna do at home. Obviously, you're gonna talk to your doctor, they send you home with some papers, some exercises to do. So this is something that if you, again, check with your surgeon, check with your doctor, but these are things that you wanna do while you are recovering from that knee replacement. The first one is just sitting there and really just doing some range of motion. So now while I don't have a knee replacement and this is 90 degrees of knee flexion, so it's a little bit um, uh, not a great example, but you actually just kind of want to sit and let your leg hang over the edge. And what you're going to do is you're going to allow gravity to go to work on that knee. So you don't really have to do anything here. Again, this is not going to feel comfortable because it's gravity and it's going to be pulling your knee into a position that it doesn't want to go. But you want to just bring your legs over to the edge of the bed, whatever, you're probably just going to be here. But you want to keep this here for as long as you can tolerate it. This is going to be like a 5, 10, 15 minute exercise. This will help bend the knee. Obviously, the biggest thing we want to get back is that range of motion. Lots of swelling at this point and that, time, and that can also impede um, your range of motion and that's gonna the swelling can last up to a year so we always get questions all the time about how you know how how excuse me when should I be concerned about swelling well I don't really get concerned until it's about a year later um, I do get concerned if all of a sudden it's swollen out to here that's you know if you notice it double or triple in size that's when you need to be a little bit more uh, wary and call your doctor call the surgeon who did it but you know, up until that point, you wanna make sure that you know you are just doing the icing to control the swelling. If you have like a, a pump that they gave you to help with the uh, swelling, that's another good reason. While we're on the topic of swelling, another thing you can do is just move your ankles up and down. All right, it's important that you do that because you wanna make sure that you're pushing all the fluid back to the heart. So again, we'll bring on my feet up like this because having your knee bent at 90 degrees generally isn't what happens right afterwards. But you wanna make sure that you're just doing a little bit of these ankle pumps nice and easy. These again, just like the exercise before, I don't want you to necessarily say, okay, I wanna do these three times a day. These you wanna do as many times as you can, especially if you're finding yourself more sedentary. Many people after a knee replacement find themselves not wanting to get up, it's too painful. Um, but you wanna make sure that you're doing as much as you can to keep that swelling. You don't want it to pull into your lower leg. You don't want it to become that two and three size uh, times the size. And the best way to get out swelling is movement. And if you're not able to move your knee as freely as you want, then you're going to want to move your ankle and you're gonna to wanna to just move it up and down. The final thing that you were gonna talk about, and again, clear all these with your surgeon and make sure that you've discussed that with him, um, but these are just three exercises that are very popular to do, is a weight shifting exercise. So you wanna make sure, especially if you're post-op, especially if you're newly post-op, that you're standing next to a table that you can hold on to, 
and you're just gonna shift your weight back and forth. So I'm gonna do it without standing next to the table, but you just wanna shift your weight back and forth, almost like you're marching. You wanna be able to balance on that leg that was operated on for about 30 seconds. Now, right when you get the knee replacement done, even for a month or two after, you're gonna be able to put very little weight and then shift off of it, okay? Accept as much weight as you can and then come back over. Try and hold it a little bit longer each time. Even if it's only for a couple seconds, just shift over and come back and then shift over and come back. Eventually, trying not to hold on to the surface, trying to lift your leg, trying to make as much movement as you can or as much weight as you can on that leg. Having that leg accept as much weight as possible is really important. If you have any questions, pre or post op for a knee replacement, um, and you need to understand that the stronger you go into a knee replacement, the more mobility you have going into a knee replacement, the easier the rehab is. So getting the physical therapy before a knee replacement is, is almost as important as getting there afterwards. If you or someone you know is suffering with knee pain and wants a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. Thanks and have a good night.